so many people have been left shocked, confused as to how, when. This is in regards to Jeezy pulling the plug on his marriage to Jeannie Mai and filing for divorce. And I must say, I also did not see this coming at all. It's less than a week since Jeannie put out a beautiful video of her and her daughter celebrating the remarkable milestone Jeezy achieved on his memoir. Anyway, let's get straight into the story. Welcome back to Efox number one stop to entertainment and trending news. So as I was mentioning earlier, the story that has broken the internet and actually I could not believe it was true. I had to confirm and all the major news outlets from TMZ to E to People to New York Times are all talking about this. And that is Jeezy pulling the plug on his marriage to Ginny Mai. The two have been married for two and a half years. The rapper filed the petition on Thursday, September 14th at Fulton County Superior Court in Georgia. The Atlanta Journal Constitution were the first to break the news and they reported that the pair have a prenup in place and that he's seeking joint custody of their one-year-old daughter Monaco. According to the document, the filing states that the former pair are currently living in a bona fide state of separation. The rapper also states that the marriage is irretrievably broken with no hope for reconciliation. Now we can agree that that seems to be pretty serious as irretrievably broken, no hope for reconciliation, like they're dead serious. Now it's like a little bit over a week since Jinimai put out a post of her celebrating her husband, or rather soon to be ex-husband Jeezy. And the post seemed to be so heartwarming. I remember just watching that video and I was ugh, so cute. And the caption clearly showed that she's still very much with her husband because she mentioned my husband. And we can see that here. Today I celebrate a remarkable milestone achieved by my husband, Jeezy, whose memoir, Adversity for Sale, has soared to the New York Times bestsellers list. Her story has always been an inspiration to me, but seeing it in print has left me even more in awe of your strength and wisdom. You invited us into the most intimate corners of your life where pain and triumph coexist. This moment isn't just a testament to your literary skills, baby, but a recognition of your ability to inspire through the power of storytelling. I'm endlessly grateful for your voice in this world, honored to walk beside you, my love. I mean, when you see that caption, you don't read divorce. You don't read separation. Saying my love, she's saying walking beside you. She's saying baby. She's saying my husband. And I've seen a couple of comments of people saying, was she blindsided? We'll be getting to see that in a minute. Let's just get to see the video for those who might have missed it. Coco coming? Yeah. Boom. Boom. Okay. Amy. Amy. Oh, Miss Coco. Um, boom. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. How are you? I am. I'm fine. I'm fine. God. God. I want to thank you. Thank you. For my family. Family. God. God. I want to thank you. Thank you. For my food. And food. And God. God. Thank you. Thank you. Because my daddy, my daddy made the New York Times the bestsellers list. So God, God, thank you, thank you for my daddy, my daddy and his work and to help people, people believe in themselves. Help. Just like he teaches me. Amen. Amen. I mean, looking at that, so cute, so adorable, you don't see anything hinting that something is wrong somewhere. And hence, even some people are saying, we hope this is a rumor that people who are letting Ginny know that please let us know what is happening. We hope this is not true. Do you think, guys, that she might have been blindsided by this? Because this is very, very confusing. I've seen many people referencing how much she found just love and peace and uh, she had even 
made it very clear that she doesn't want to have children but when she met this man that changed and I remember many people putting out that perhaps when you just meet the right person, your perspective about things can change and even things that you said you wouldn't do, you get to do them. And that is just the power of having the right partner by your side. So diving straight to netizens, uh, someone says, God, I hope he didn't blindside you with this divorce. You seem like he was in it for the long run. Prayers for you and your daughter. Somebody says, hope it's false news. And if not, praying for love and healing. And uh, someone else says, off and now with a toddler, she never wanted to be a mom much less a single one. And this is actually what I was mentioning earlier because she never wanted to be a mother in the first place. And meeting Jeezy really changed her perspective in things. And this is the one thing that she did not want, being a single mom. Uh, someone says she was just praising him last week. I don't believe this. Yeah, it is very, very confusing. We have just gone through that post. Her praising him, my love, baby, all that praying with Coco and it doesn't read divorce or separation at all. So many people are really confused about this. And someone says this is so crazy. She always said that he was her equal. And basically when she met him, she looked at him and said, now this is what I deserve in a relationship. So what happened for him to fall for the divorce from her? Yet he asked her to marry him. There's something fishy that's going on. I just hope that my girl is okay. She deserves to be happy and so does he. I'm just looking at her because she was cheated on in her first marriage. I hope this did not happen again. Someone else says, oh, wow, that's so unfortunate. They always looked so happy together. Never saw that coming at all. Somebody says, no, I was just thinking how she got her happily ever after. Judging from those comments, you can clearly tell that this has been a shocker to many. The pair got hitched in March of 2021 at the Atlanta home in the heart of the pandemic. They confirmed they were dating in 2019 and revealed the engagement the following year because of the tight COVID restrictions. They shifted their wedding from France to their Georgia home in 2021, where they held an intimate ceremony. At the top of 2022, Jizzy and Mai welcomed their first child, with Jeannie taking to her Instagram, announcing, I asked God for a life of love and happiness. He sent me my family. Baby Jenkins is here. Yeah. Well, that is what is happening on this internet streets. You are up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified once you have any new uploads. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.